Right, hello, this is Jamie from randomiseuser.com with episode 44 of Let's Play Savage Lands. Right, so this time we're going to go hunting for wolves because in game update 19 they've changed a lot of the wolf type things, um, namely wolves. So, yep, and we looked at last time we looked at the um, Sundered Sausage and a few other kind of uh, changes in game update 19. Now we're, lo we're looking pretty much exclusively at wolves because they've introduced a baby wolf and they've redesigned the plague wolves and the dire wolves. Um, the dire wolves are the ones you find, or they, basically the harder version of wolves that you find way up on the hills, um, away from the starting area. So we'll go looking for those in a bit, but first we'll look for baby wolves, because that's a cute new mob, which is only around the starting area near spawn, basically between spawn and the southern dragon tower, so in the whole sort of Argo area. And we're just coming up on Argo just now, actually, um, but probably won't find any wolves inside there. Let's have a look around. All is quiet this evening. It's a very quiet time. Um, also, as well as um, baby wolves, um, they've slightly tweaked um, the way that baby boars work, or pigs. I, I prefer to call them pigs. Um, and um, yeah, so when you kill a pig now, a baby pig, you'll you'll get specific baby pig meat, um, which doesn't make a huge amount of difference. It's just the fact that if you cook baby boar meat, it's not as um, tasty and filling. So it's just a little differentiation. And also, um, the uh, small wolves, when you kill them, they'll drop... Uh, kind of small wolf pelts, uh, and several of those wolf pelts can be crafted into a big one. Oh, 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 I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf, and are these the baby wolves? Yep, these are the baby wolves. Hello, lads. Um, hang on, let's get into the light so we can see them properly. Yeah, so they're just really small little things. Um, both of these, I think they're, they're slightly different colours, so let's actually start attacking them, because my health is actually going down. Uh, I haven't actually had a chance since the last episode to repair my armour, so they are actually doing me some damage. Right, so these are, these little fellas now drop some raw young wolf meats and the small wolf pelts. And as we discussed, um, they're now they basically they are different to the the regular kind, which have been renamed large. Now I think um. You can, as you can see there, um, I can only actually loot one of these wolves. The other one is unlootable, um, which is a bit strange. I think that, I've seen that quite a bit with these baby animals, both these and the boars. Sometimes they don't have any loot on them whatsoever. Um, although for some reason you, the, the, the corpses do actually stay, they don't disappear. So I don't know if that's a bug or intentional. So that's the, those are the little wolves now. Um, uh, let's have a, actually, let's have a look at the... Um, hang on, the, let's have a look at the journal for them. Um, yeah, where is it? Raw young wolf meat. Oh, that's the that's the standard stuff. And there it is raw young wolf meat. If you eat that, obviously you're, you're not going to get very much out of it. If you cook it raw and um, um, cooked young wolf meat, you'll get 35 health, um, which compares down here to the adults' meat, which gives you 55. So essentially, it's just not as good. But to be fair, I mean, what do you expect? Um, this is the starting area, and it's not supposed to be as um, juicy and rewarding as if you go further on into the hills. Yep, here's some more lads. Sod off, lads. Die, die, die. So I think it was I think it was one hit each of this Everwood bludgeoner. Um, and again, yep, a little bit of meat and a little bit meat bit meat on you as well. And you'll occasionally get a bone as well. Oh, hello, Kerr. Um, something about Kerr. Um, his um, his, ooh, what the fuck? I'm I'm standing on some bones, <laughs> tripping him over them. Um, a new thing about Kerr is he's been made slightly easier to kill when you're having one of those big, massive, multiplayer encounters. He's got a little bit of less health, and he does a bit of less damage when he's biting you. So that's... Oh. Oh! Oh, lads! Lads! <laughs> Ow! Oh, fuck! Fuck! You're not supposed to be in this video! Bugger off! Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to go break aggro now. Um, let's hide behind a tree. That, because that probably works. Uh, lads. I haven't got much health. Oh, it's, it's okay. I think he's, um... It's up! Ow, 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 ow. No, I thought he was settling on the dragon tower. Oh, bugger. Anyway, later that same day... <laughs> um, I'm back up near Monolithville now. Um, hello. Um, and now I'm going to go... Um, I know there's always plague wolves spawning around here, so let's go and say hello. Um, now... Technically, their behaviour isn't hasn't changed, but if you'll notice, let's give a nice side view. You'll notice they're actually bigger than before, a lot more terrifying. And I'm bleeding. Oh god! Well, thankfully I've got some bandages. 
Um, yeah, with an Everwood Bludgeoner, it does take them down fairly quickly. So yes, I mean, just the very size of them is now bigger. Um, so that, especially if there's, if there's a large pack of them, and there's quite a few over there, you are going to know about it. Um, let's quickly just heal up. Come on. Oh god, there's... Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's, there's packs everywhere. Um, right, come on. Oh god, that's... Yeah, that's clearly a lot bigger than before. Ugh. Right. Yeah, remind me to bloody repair my armour as well soon. There we go. There's um, five bits of raw wolf meat. Very generous indeed. Right, so um, now dire wolves, um, they're the ones that you find a bit further north on the island in higher regions. They're, they've been made bigger as well as plague wolves. So we're going to try and find some dire wolves. Uh, that might be them, that, yeah. Because I did, I did see some spawn here last time I was um, recording. Um, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And they also hunt in packs. These, oh, yeah, look at them. They're, they're bigger than before. Uh, they're mangy. They're mangy buggers. Um, but thankfully, I have the weapon to cope with them. Uh, still haven't repaired my armour. Right, so yeah, that's um, the new um, dire wolves, I guess. Um, yep, they, they are apparently um, stronger now. They do take a bit more to tonk. Um, and yes, they are a bit bigger. Um, but I think it's still the same graphics. I think it's just been pumped up a little. It's like super wolf. Or something. Anyway, I don't know. Right, so just quickly loaded up a different save. This is the one where um, apparently I was being attacked by a dragon because that tree was on fire a few seconds ago. Um, I'm just going to qu quickly find a hill stalker just to do a, like a compare and contrast because we've already seen the big mangy new version of the direwolves. And now let's just see this small hill stalker, guys. Um, yeah, so baby wolves is essentially going to be over there on the other side of the dragon tower. Hill stalker is going to be around here. And the dire wolves are going to be way further to the north. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hello, mate. Oh, hang on, what are you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one. That's a regular hill stalker, I think. Yeah, how mangy does it look? Mangeometer reading. Uh, 3, 3.2. Yeah, that's a hill stalker. Right, so it's, um, it's not like the size difference isn't major. I think um, really what you, you will be able to tell when you're uh, facing a direwolf is the fact that you will be attacked by many of them at once. And you will be a lot further north than, say, Argo. Uh, yeah, well, balls to it anyway. Um, I think that's enough. Um, <laughs> bloody wolves. Oh, no, there's... No, no, there's... There are wolf! Wolf! Uh, no wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Yeah, that's little... Oh, hang on, at least... Is that a little one and a big one together? Oh, I should be so lucky. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, if th that would have been perfect. If I got both at once. But no, they're basically the same size. Oh, I'm bleeding again. I'm bleeding awful. Oh, well. Okay, that's enough wolf nonsense. Um, in fact, that's some um, game update 19 pretty much covered exhaustively in this video and the previous one. Um, so let's spend a, a final minute on the forthcoming Unity 5 update. Um, I covered this in episode 42, but there's a couple of things I've learnt since then. And um, First, um, I mentioned previously that there might be additional small islands in the Unity 5 island. Um, well, that's been confirmed as three islands, one large main one, plus two smaller ones. Meat! <laughs> Um, uh, also, the dragon encounter should should actually take place on one of those smaller islands, I think. Um, hang on. Oh, bloody hell, how much meat have I got? <laughs> um, secondly, creatures will be a lot more localised on the new map. Um, some things will be universal, such as deers, um, but others will force you to go to different places to find their drops. I guess in the same way that currently um, it's a bit... Uh, to get spirit wolves, you have to know where to go, I guess. Um, oh yeah, finally, the devs have hinted that they're hoping to finally get actual caves into the new map. Ooh, a sundered surprise. Still got enough stuff for that. Uh, do I really want it? No. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, they, they may put these caves in the region called the Valley of the Giants, uh, which sounds suitably epic. Uh, it's all very nice, really. Yeah, so that's basically Unity 5, I guess. Um, okay, so the next video I do, uh, there may be one more before the Unity 5 updates, and there's still a few small things I could do. Um, but otherwise, we'll probably take a bit of a small break. Um, Totally depends on the game updates and everything like that. But I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be like a month. So I don't know really. But in the meantime, um, check out my videos on How to Survive 2. It's another another survival game, but it's a third person zombie killer with base building and quests and stuff like that. Um, so thanks for watching. Oh, shit. Ah! End speech aborted! Shit, I didn't realise I was so... Oh, cock. Ah, up on the roof. Um, yeah, while I escape all this, um, I will say thanks. Oh, dicks! Ow. No thanks to you, skellies. Yeah, pricks. 
Yeah, so thanks for watching, if you've got this far, um, and subscribe if you want to be notified when future videos go live, and hey, why not drop this video a like, because for every 10 likes I get, I get a solid gold car. Probably. Okay, uh, see you next time.